Kia ora guys, thanks for joining me on a beautiful, beautiful autumn New Zealand morning. She's a cracker. Now this video is primarily for my dad, really, but also anybody out there that is interested even slightly in the Fujifilm X100F, or even more broadly, photography in general. So chatting with my dad the other day, it's approaching 80 this year, and him and my mum still love to get out and about, do a bit of travelling, get in the car, grab a camera, go with the flow, make some photographs, happy days. Now my dad's responsible for my interest, my love, my passion for photography. He introduced me to photography when I was a young fella and I've never lost that spark. Never, never for a second have I lost that spark. My dad used to give me a couple of hand-me-down cameras, you know, when he'd finished and upgraded, he'd pass me his old camera and I'd go out there and play and, and try and hone my skills as a photographer. My dad this year is turning 80. And he's, you know, he, he, wants a, he wants a lighter kit. He doesn't want to lug about big, heavy DSLRs and all the array of lenses and all that malarkey. He wants a nice, compact travel camera. For years and years, I've been praising X100 series. I personally started off with a used X100, which unfortunately developed the sticky aperture blade issue. Fujifilm wouldn't repair it at their cost because I didn't have the original purchase receipt. Fair enough, fair play. So instead of paying for the repair under my own steam, I thought I'll put that extra money towards a new camera. So I bought the X100T. That camera was such an improvement on the original. I took it to work one day, attended a flash flood. I'm out there photographing the floods and I put my camera under the seat of my car, which I parked, I thought I, thought I parked it in a good spot. Turns out when I returned to the car, my X100T was swimming, uh, so that was dead. Unfortunately, tragic loss. But luckily, it was insured, and the uh, the insurance company came to the party, replaced it with the incredible, the incompatible, incompatible, the incompatible Fujifilm X100F. And over the years, I've made some of my favourite memories with that camera. You know, it's time that I repaid all my dad's gifts over the years, so I've uh, I've boxed up and sent him my X100F and an array of Nissi filters. I'm sure he's gonna do some damage with that gear, that is for sure. So here's a little slideshow just to show you, and more in particular, just to show my mom and dad what this camera is capable of. You're gonna have such good times, guys, with this camera, I'm telling you. You're gonna love it. And then at the end of the video, you're gonna get my last ever shoot with a Fujifilm X100F. Man, I tell you, I look back and it's like, it's kind of a bittersweet situation, this, because on one hand, I'm losing, or I'm, I'm handing on, one of my all-time favourite cameras. That's the bitter part. The sweet part is the smile on my dad's face. I'm telling you, I can, I can see it now. It's, it's, it's got a big old Yorkshire beaming face. Love it, Dad.
to replace the X100F, obviously. Which way do I go? My heart's telling me the X100V. My head's starting to tell me the X-Pro series. I've got a small collection of M42 screw mount vintage lenses, which I would love. I've, I've tried them on my Nikon, but my Nikon's a big, heavy, bulky camera, weighs a ton. So I'm thinking a smaller, more compact body, rangefinder style, because I love the rangefinder style. The X-Pro series, watch this space. <laughs> happy days, happy days. All right, guys, until, uh, until next time, when it's definitely, definitely going to be a shoot with an old Pentax. Love an old Pentax. Catch you later, guys. Look after yourselves, and uh, we'll see you next time.